Residents of a town near the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are now allowed to make daytime visits to their former homes. This comes after officials eased restrictions on visiting some parts of the town on Monday. All 21,000 former residents of Namie are still unable to live within the town limits. More than two years have passed since a massive earthquake and tsunami set off a crisis at the nuclear plant. People who have homes in low radiation zones are now allowed to visit them during daylight hours. More than 80 percent of the former residents will be able to take advantage of the new rules. Michio Tanaka and his wife now live in another city in Fukushima Prefecture. They spent their Monday visit cleaning their home. I hope the government will speed up its efforts so all of us can live in the town together again. Town officials say they hope to complete decontamination work, restore infrastructure, and make some parts of the town habitable within four years. On the 6th of April, year 2013, Onoda area, Namie Machi, Fukushima Prefecture, Japan. The monitor shows 6.63 microsievert per hour. This is a figure in air at my chest, chest high, standing on the grass ground. 6.73 microsievert per hour. Cherry blossom have started blooming. Seventeen kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Radiation counter map, pollution map of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident by Professor Yukio Hayakawa of Gunma University. Namie is upper middle or highly, highly contaminated area. There is dust on the roadside. Thirty-seven, forty-two point, forty-eight point, fifty-two point, fifteen microsievert hour, microsievert per hour. One centimeter high from the ground level. 